Hey guys, King Gath here, and in this guide, we're going to go over the Soldier Needs System. Now, before we start, I will say, if you do not have HUD framework, the Soldier Needs System is going to be infuriating, and I highly recommend you turn it off. And for those of you who don't want to have to micromanage this stuff or don't want to have to deal with some settlements plots, you're also not going to enjoy the Soldier Needs System. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to turn it off. I would recommend anybody who enjoys a balanced gameplay system to keep it on, because without this, you can basically just build unlimited sized armies in it nullifies a lot of the mechanics and makes them not very uh, very interesting throughout all of Conqueror. It makes the game far too easy. So I highly recommend everyone play with these, but there are definitely scenarios where it wouldn't apply to you. So for those of you who you just aren't going to be able to play the, with this for various reasons, with the, those needs on, you go under the Sim Settlements Conqueror section, and then you're going to go under Empire Management and turn off Soldier Needs. And that will make it so that you don't have to worry about what I'm going to teach you going forward, and you can just... Move on to the next video. But if you have HUD framework, or even if you don't, uh, what you have to basically do is make sure that you have a good balanced economy across your empire. And your empire is a combination of outposts and vassals, which we'll talk about the differences between outposts and vassals in another video. But for now, note that as you build up your empire and collect more settlements, you're going to establish them for various purposes, and that will result in you gaining more resources. Now, in the new HUD that you see down at the bottom there, which is enabled by having HUD framework installed, you have three meters on the right-hand side. The first one is your wage meter. The next one down is your rations meter. And then the last one is your equipment meter. And your goal is to have all of those completely full, or even better, to have each of those with a plus next to them. If you find that you're, you have a negative next to them and the bar is not all the way full, you are no longer going to be able to recruit additional soldiers. There are also additional pen penalties that come into play that we will discuss in future videos. But just note that this will stop recruitment. So it's very important that you keep those filled. Now, there are two ways you can fill them. One is to conquer additional territories that already have some settlements plus in them and this is one of the reasons that the pre-build system that popped up the very first time you loaded your game with conqueror is so important to the gameplay mechanics of conqueror in fact without it it changes the dynamics of the game very dramatically and you can still play that way but you'll likely want to turn on a different system so if you did not play with the pre-build options if you didn't start up your game and allow a bunch of settlements to pre-build that you can potentially conquer you'll likely want to come into the configuration here under some settlements conquer and i am actually not 100 percent positive where i stuck this i think it's empire management uh let's see yep it is so it's called control vassal settlement so you'd probably want to turn this on if you didn't pre-build and what this will let you do is when you get into taking more territories and you start taking vassals it will allow you to build in them so that you can ensure that you can fill up your resource meters so the way those work those resources are each tied to a different sim settlements plot type the wages are covered by commercial plots the rations are covered by agricultural plots and the equipment are covered by industrial plots. So just having large numbers of those and the higher level of the plot type, the more it will generate of that particular resource. So effectively you can engage in the Sim Settlements mechanics to gain more of those. You can also use city plans. You're even able to use city plans in a outpost controlled by your faction and it will work just like normal, but with the addition of generating various resources so it is a very good idea to uh use the warp war options or rather the war options the uh, pre-build options because then you'll have lots of settlements you can conquer that already have tons of plots but if you don't do that turn off that or turn that vassal control on and then you'll be able to uh conquer settlements that will give you large swings to your resources so basically all we have to do here is go into the Sim Settlements menu and just build a bunch of these different plot types and as we build them Sim Settlements does have a auto assign system built in if you're not familiar with it so it will even start assigning your soldiers now it does change your soldiers once they're assigned to plots and we'll talk about that in another episode or another uh, guide rather but uh, just know you can effectively just start building these plots and as they are assigned to your soldiers you'll see that your meters will start to change as they start generating resources and these plots are built up so at level one a plot will generate 10 of that particular resource level 2 20 level 3 30 so you can quickly generate a lot of resources by just building up plots and encouraging them to get higher level and generally 
to get, if you're not familiar with some settlements mechanics, I would check out the in-depth series there. But just as a rough overview, as long as your happiness is going up and up and up, like uh, you wanna get it in the 70 to 90 range, as long as it's up in there and you have ample defense and power, you should start seeing your plots upgrade. Another good way to play, again, if we're talking about having HUD framework installed, which is what I'd highly recommend if you're gonna play with Conqueror, is uh, you'll also find you get that meter on the left there. And uh, both meters, if you're, or both of these uh, HUD pieces can be heavily configured. You can reduce their size. You can move them wherever you want within the options. So if my screen right now seems a little bit bloated, don't worry, you can change all that. But that, that stuff on the left there, filling all of those will ensure your plots are upgrading as well. So plots will increase the amount of resources you're generating. And the actual thing that reduces the amount of those numbers is based on the number of soldiers you have and what their roles are. We'll cover roles in the future, but effectively by default, each new soldier that you bring in requires 10 of each of those. Now there are exceptions to that. There are things like special units, which might have different numbers depending on the faction pack. But generally, if you just go by the rule that for every positive 10 you have in each, you can recruit one additional soldier. So now in our last video, we talked about it being 100 resources plus a bed now that you know about the different uh, different wages rations and equipment requirements you know that it's have 100 resources available have an empty bunk and then have plus 10 at least surplus on each of those meters on the right hand side and once you do that you'll be able to recruit additional soldiers now the reason for this will become more and more apparent as we go deeper into the guides but it's effectively a balancing mechanic to ensure that you can't just build an infinite sized army without needing to have something to kind of hold it back from growing forever so there needs to be some sort of resource system involved outside of just dumping in caps which are too easy to gain and so this is a balancing mechanic to make sure that managing your army becomes uh, more and more a challenge the larger it gets unless you spread out into dish to additional territories which we will cover again in future videos so uh, right now your focus should be on just building lots and lots of different plots especially commercial agricultural and industrial to gain access to those additional resources for soldier needs